I mentioned the other day that I read an article about some boats that have been converted into hotels, and I think I found them. There's really no other explanation for these boats here. You can see they're brightly painted green, have some paintings on the front, and they look like they're moored here permanently. These have to be the uh, hotels. Here's the bathroom for the boat. <laughs> Basically, this is the double room. The fan, electricity, that's all. Oh, okay. Ah, to me, it's kind of romantic in a way, yeah. you know, to, to live on a boat. <laughs> you own that estate? Hmm? You own that estate? Maybe one time. Right now, I still have my room oh, okay. there. I will accept the way it does. I will the way it does. talking about the politics or dirty politics of Bangladesh. This is the office room. Oh, office room. Yeah. Oh, look at that. So he has a, a desk to keep track of payments. And payment, the take the art, take the, the coffee of the old passport coffee or national ID card coffee. Okay. Like that. Hmm. And keys. And there's stairs up to the second floor. Can I take a look? Just to climb up to the second floor. There's the view out of the window. Ah. I was asking about whether it would be hot up here, and I can already feel it. The heat is just radiating off the ceiling. It's very narrow up here. And I don't know if my camera was still running at the time, but he said it cost a hundred taka per night and then 60 taka for a, sh a bed in one of the shared spaces. Wow, here's the view from up on the uh, second deck. There's hardly enough room to even turn around up here. Oh, and here's the uh, top of the boat. This is locked, so no one can get in from up here. Excuse me. And every room has a lock for security. Oh. Be careful going up and down. Yeah, I can feel it up there, much hotter from the sun. Mm. Wow. And then ask them one that is stay, how many days, or just in case of things, then they would be offering you $100 a day for a single room, uh, double room, $200. And this uh, corridor in a common room is for uh, $60, $60, $50, $60 BDT. Sorry, I don't uh, ask the dollar. BDT, what are BDT? Right, right, right. Okay. 
Well, thank you very much. That was really interesting. Yeah, interesting to see a different lifestyle. All very young, young men mostly staying there. Not too many older men. They are work for their family. They, for that's why they are staying over here. All majority person of people go their village because for the election they want to vote. Okay. Okay. This white boat here is the one that I was inside and uh, getting a tour of. And from everything I could tell, it would be perfectly fine if I wanted to stay there. I would just have to show up and knock on that door. That door is uh, kind of the office and you tell them whether you want a single room, a double room, or uh, sleep in the common area. How many nights? Just like a, a hotel. He has a ledger, he fills it out, you get your key and you move in. So the man I was talking to, he said that these boats, they call it Noka boarding. And uh, so if you come to Shaudargat and you want to stay here, you ask for Noka boarding and they will bring you here. He also told me that the small one at the very end was the very first one to dock here and turn into a hotel and it started the whole Noka boarding uh, tradition. Unfortunately, my uh, camera let me down again. I don't know what I caught on video and what I didn't, but I met a man down by the river and I happened to be standing right in front of a set of ferry boats docked on the shore and there was something unusual about them. They looked like hotels to me. And this man confirmed that they were what they call Noka boarding. That the day laborers along the river stay there and they pay 100 taka per night for a private room and about 60 taka to sleep in a common area. He brought me on board the boat and showed me all the rooms and uh, showed me the office, um, showed me the bathroom, the lower deck and the upper deck. And unfortunately, most of that didn't get recorded. He also told me a bit about the salaries of the men who stay there. He called over one of the young men, and this guy was one of the ones with a bicycle with a wooden platform. So he would deliver loads, and he made about 300 taka per day. He also called over a man who worked unloading the ships, one of these guys carrying the giant loads on their heads and he said on a good day he would make 500 taka per day. Just to put that into context, 300 taka is about 350 US and 600 taka or 500 taka is about six dollars. So he makes six dollars a day. That's when he has work. There are lots of days when he doesn't have any work at all. The bonus question for the previous video was, what is a madrasa? A. A school. B. A boat. C. A tasty treat. Or D. A district. The answer is A. A school. A madrasa is an Islamic school teaching the principles and history of Islam. It is usually associated with a particular mosque. Did you get the answer right? Did you get an A plus? Congratulations. Bonus question for this video. Bangladesh is a land of rivers. How many rivers are there? Take a guess. Are there 20 rivers? A hundred? Two thousand? A million? Put your answer in the comments below. Answer at the end of the next video.
Arkada da she's very good for this. Very very good for this. Maximum 70% like this we do. 70% like this. Demo. Baro. Baro. Turbo. Baro. Baro Hajar. Baro. Baro Hajar. Baro. Baro Hajar. Baro. Baro Hajar. 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 Baro Hajar.